king blocked away. All right, I think I'm gonna probably use my healing items on this fight. What can we do? Talk, talk, or talk. So I can talk, Susie can talk, or Ralsei can talk. All right. Um, I'll start. King blocked away, yes, right, I already read that. Actually, should I start talking or? Yeah, it's fine, it doesn't matter. Just defend and defend. It's built up some TP. You try to reason with the king. Silence, Lightbringer. Your very existence goes against your own. By the knight's will, I shall shatter your heart to pieces. Your will is changing. Talk became courage. Hmm? How dare you come here, Lightners? That wasn't too bad. The battlefield is rumbling. Defense boost. And costs 25% TP? Huh. I guess I should probably do that, huh? Yeah. Defend, defend. You encourage the party. The party's defense raised for this turn. Oh, just for this turn. Okay. You, that left us in the shadows, stripped off meaning. Whoa. Oh. Oh, neat. That's really, that's really, really cool. And let's have Susie talk. And no need to heal, so defend. Susie tried to reason with the king. Alright, listen up. Lancer's my friend. So if we can get by without hurting you, then... If I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Alright, you want to see what I can do, huh? Susie's will is changing. Talk became Red Buster. How dare you return torment us once again. Okay, I'm doing alright with these attacks so far. Darkness pours from the fountain. Let's, uh, red damage. Red? What's red damage? Uh, let's talk with Ralsei. Ralsei tried to reason with the king. You might not realize it, but this is a world where you don't have to fight. I know if we try, we can all find another way. Such simple-minded platitudes. A shame you will not live to realize your naivety. Naivete. I'll perish with the pathetic lighteners you worship. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. Ralsei's will is changing. Talk became dual heal. Nice. Be gone. We have found fresh purpose. Oh, this is new. Oh, that's hard. Damn, took a lot of damage there. Let's heal. And I guess just defend? Yeah. Nice. That's <laughs> such a cool attack, I love it. I mean, that hurt everybody. Let's do Red Buster, see what that does. Yeah, that takes a lot of TP. Defend. Susie used Red Buster. Okay. I shouldn't need to fight, right? So I shouldn't do that. But if I don't do that, then what do I do? Just... Wait? Just try to survive, I guess? Hmm. Oh, that's... Oh, 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 I see. Holy crap, that's different. That's actually a lot easier, now that I know what to do with it. Because it telegraphs where it's going to move, rather than just bouncing around. 
Yeah, um... Do I have any... I don't have anything that would do anything to them, just heal me and stuff. I mean, Courage just gives us more defense for the round. I could check him. Sure. Abandoned by the Light Nurse, his heart became cracked with hatred. He cannot be reasoned with, but don't give up. Okay, so I think I just need to survive a long time, it sounds like. I need to move around less for that one. That's the one where you don't want to move all that much, actually. Uh, we definitely need to heal. Y you do have Rude Buster, whatever that is. It does rude damage. <laughs> I don't think there'd be any point in doing that, but I'm kind of curious. Defend. Do you see now our new purpose? Oh, that's pretty hard. Didn't only took one bit of damage, I think. King's mouths gave a berserk smile. Oh right, they have multiple mouths. Um, let's do another dual heal. Okay, pretty much full. Soon this world shall be blanketed in darkness, and darkner shall rule it. King's mouths babble indecipherably. Yeah, might as well just defend. Defend, defend. I could heal one person if I wanted to, like I could do Chris, but nah. Then you may see what it is like to live in despair. I love that attack so much. <laughs> Alright, another dual heal and defend. God, thank god we have dual heal. Without that, I'd be so screwed. I mean, I have tons of items, so I'd just probably have to scarf all my Choco Diamonds down and stuff. Now, enough talk. Fall before the chain of justice. Whoa, what is... Oh, I see... Oh, wow. Oh, that is really cool. Also really hard. Worth another dual heal? Yeah. <laughs> You're quite strong, aren't you? Mm, only Ralsei's hurt. Yeah, so I think for this, actually, I'm going to defend, defend, and then we'll just do a single heal on themselves. If I keep fighting you like this, then... Yeah! Wow. Guess I'll do another single heal. It seems that... Just defend, 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 I guess. Well, I could... Actually, wait a minute. I could do Courage. Yeah. Actually, it might be beneficial to do Courage. And then defend, defend. Defense raised for this turn. My knight, I shall not fail you. Ooh. Enough is enough. I see. 
I see that I cannot defeat you. I have grown exhausted from our long battle. Light nurse, I... Perhaps I have been too cruel. The truth is, I was not always this way. There once was a time where darkeners and lighteners lived in harmony. A time where darkeners could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I, too, do not yearn for those days. Perhaps. Perhaps you young ones are right. Please, let us put away our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all this. Come now, Susie. I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King. None of us really want to fight. If you can just tell us about your worries, I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Y yes Friends. That sounds... lovely. <coughs> My apologies. I'm... I'm not used to fighting like that. My body's getting weak. Oh, don't say another word. I feel like this is a trap. There. You should be all healed up. How do you feel? Let's see. Yep. Never better. You. Did I say you could get up? Chris. Oh, spare me the heroics. You. You're the leader, aren't you? So, what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity? You can't even say. Young one, let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. Hey. Get away from my friend. <laughs> or what? Surely you must realize how exhausted I am, Leitner. Any hit from you would kill me. Why not do it, Leitner? Kill me and show my son how much you really care. Nah. So what's your plan, then? To talk me to death? Stupid, stupid Leitner. You honestly think you have any way to convince me not to kill you? Just wait a second. Wait for what? Huh? Why am I suddenly so sleepy? Why, you... You little... You sweet... Little... Pumpkin. Hey, Chris. Y'all right? That was close, Susie. I'm surprised you remembered my pacify spell. Hey, come on. I'd never forget something I made fun of you for. Chris. Susie, I'm... I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost... We almost... Susie, you were right. I... I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? Eh, it's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then... You might just hurt someone you care about, too. Everyone, you're okay! Lancer, hey! Sorry, I kind of beat up your dad. That's okay, it happens. Oh, even looks like he's having a beauty nap. That's good. You seemed cranky. 
Man, you can say that again. Uh, Lancer? What's that noise? Oh, I actually came to warn you, clownlings. I informed the guys you were fighting my dad, but... Instead of eagerly volunteering to help you, everyone just caught the freakouts. Now they appear to be, um... Breaking through the door to the throne room. Well, uh, that's not the best. Chris, Susie. It seems that you must hurry to the fountain. No time for goodbyes, huh? Yes, of course no goodbyes. We're bad guys, so we only have bad buys. <laughs> You've learned a lot, huh? Only from the best of the worst. Okay, I'll go stop the door. Later, dude. Susie? Chris? If we must say goodbye, then... Um, I... Are they crying? I just wanted to say I... I've really enjoyed meeting you two, and... Hey, can you stop mumbling into your hat for a sec? I can barely hear you, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Chris, Susie, I... Hmm! That's an interesting, rather goat-like face, isn't it? Very fluffy. What was I looking at before? I thought we were looking at their face. So what did they just take off? I hope I can see you again soon. Next time I'll make you lots of yummy cakes, alright? Uh, yeah. Sure, dude. Let's go, Chris. So, what's their... What's the relation to Asriel? And... or Is it Asriel or Asgore? Looking at a list of characters again. Yeah, it's Asgore. Asgore and Toriel were the two... The two uh, goat parents. Uh, let's just keep going. I think we're missing a piece of the puzzle. Is this the fountain? Don't know how, but it feels like we stumbled into something really important, didn't we? Well, there's no time to think about that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. I can't see anything. Hey, watch it! Huh? This is the closet. The unused classroom. How did we get here? Oh, I guess it's not the supply closet then? Or maybe it's being used as a supply closet since it's an unused classroom. Hey, Chris. What? What just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Uh, anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Office we couldn't find any chalk.
Playing cards spill out of a deck in the closet. Checkerboard. Pawn strewn on it. Yeah, it's like little bits of our adventure are all over this room. It's a worn down stuffed animal. Door's locked. Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Alphys will know better than to ask us next time, huh? Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Chris? Aww. Let's go back there tomorrow, alright? Ran the water fountain. It's lukewarm. Do you like breathing, moving fast, with or without legs? But usually with legs. Join the cross country team with Jockington and Noel. Miss Toriel is written in cursive on the dry erase board. Seems like it hasn't been erased in a very long time. Scented markers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Scented markers, yes or no. Not even a question. But I already know what it's saying. Sniff them? Yes. You dig out the marshmallow one and start huffing it. <laughs> Poster of several basic shapes, circle, oval, square, hyperdodecahedron. I don't know if that's simple. No, that's definitely not simple. Kids' books. Some of them used to be yours. It's a primitive drawing of your mom. Primitive. Some kind of teacher food. Computer. Its desktop wallpaper is you and your brother dressed up for Halloween eight years ago. Some kind of primitive sculpture. Who knows what it represents? These descriptions are so strange. They're written from the perspective of someone who's, I don't know, looking at things in a really odd way. As if they're like totally alien to what these things are. The throne of the gods. Lockers covered in Jockington memorabilia. Are you ready for the Sadie Hawkman's dance? All this, wait, I think we already read this. Screech and any student that made contact while dancing? Yes, we already read that. This was the classroom where Alphys was teaching. Bunch of roses. Turned off. Everything felt peaceful for a moment. Looks like motivational quotes from various literature. Try your best, Astral Wolf, even in your darkest hour. That one seems to be from a video game. Oh, oh I don't even need to use the door, I just walk into it. Chris? Whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. 
Chris, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to punish you. Huh? A friend. You were spending time with a friend? Chris? I'll make an exception this time. You can continue, you continue your adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you're gonna have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Chris, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting on a project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. <laughs> Chris, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw dragons is 2,583 days overdue. However, Chris, I'm a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to... a mere $64.29. Consider it, Chris. A book here. You lick the page. It's delicious. Ew. It's supposed to be what they meant by flavor text. I hate it. Thanks, I hate it. Unlabeled book. You look inside. Oh. I accidentally returned my personal journal instead of my book. Oh no, they're putting it into their catalog. Oh no, I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. Oh, that's bad. Please remember my name. Please. I wrote a book to help you remember. By Hot's Fire Guy. Lord of the Hammer. First in the award-winning fictional series by Lotta Historian Gerson Boom. Wait, Hot's Fire Guy. Hold on, I need to Google that. I think that's from Undertale, right? Like, I vaguely feel like I know that name. That's that little... Yeah, I think I can picture them. Hot's Fire Guy. Undertale. Hot's Fire Guy is in here. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Senior Sons is... Uh, Illegal hot dog stand. I remember you. Vaguely. Computer lab. Please surf the web responsibly. In fact, maybe don't do it at all. I love reading books. Especially the books upstairs. You should really... Read them. <laughs> There's a crude drawing of an ice cube wearing a headband. The teen zone, where teens can be kids. What? A feeling of immense relief washes over you. There's an anime review. Read it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes. Teens Corner. Monthly tune review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2. This reviewer had Mew Mew 2 as her first exposure to the series. And let her tell you, it makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster with sparkly cat ears. With a darker storyline and more mature themes, the second one uh, treats the viewer like a real adult, instead of like an animal that will die if it goes 10 seconds without seeing a beach ball. Not to mention, Mew Mew's character in the first one is more stale than the ramen I eat at home by myself with the lights off. Teens and older should check out this dark masterpiece. Signed, The Anonymous Yellow Lizard. Hmm. Yellow Lizard. Anonymous. Alphys? Gotta go to college. Go Tem Stubby hard. She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. You look through the window to the computer lab. Seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. I do. I trust the dog. 
Oh, I can't go up the stairs. You told me to go read the books upstairs, but I can't get past you. Hey! Undyne. And... Who are you? Police Chief Undyne is supposed to be directing traffic, but all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, Get out of my way! She's the best, huh? I feel really directed. Hey, punk. Get out of the road. You're blocking traffic. Oh, wait, it's just Asgore's kid. Yeah. So are we Chara, then? The first human? I mean, no, they called us Chris. Who's Chara? I don't get it. Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. Just wish, just wish something would shake things up. Hmm? You got something to report? Uh... Dark World? What? There's a Dark World inside the school? Uh, sure kid. There's no law against Dark Worlds anyway. That's a job for the school board. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. Guess I should just run away. That's probably for the best, honestly. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. <laughs> it's one of those sliding bead toys that naturally spawns inside doctor's offices. The beads march grimly along their set path. It's an obligatory hospital piano shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it? Okay. It's a diagram showing a bunch of lines and a circle. <laughs> Dad, I can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I'd die. I'd literally die. Noelle, sweetheart. First time I laid eyes on your mother. I walked right up and told her she was a hot piece of work. R really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. God, that was a horrifying noise. Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers 3? Beat it yet? Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of... kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Noel? Maybe... Maybe you shouldn't wait. Dad? You should bring it here. I'm bored as hell. <laughs> Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go. I've got homework. Oh, that's the group project voice. Bird guy again. Uh, what's his name? Nerdly? It's, uh, Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Oh, hi, Chris. Oh, so you're just here to use the sink, huh? Come on, Chris. Be a little friendlier. Fine. Well, jingle my gosh darn bells. Looks like Christmas came early. All right, Chris. Just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mom make you come here? No? Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. It wasn't too long ago you were just a creepy kid next door. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. Okay, okay, seriously. Uh, you want to chat or something? Uh... Noelle? 
She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet. Couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. And when it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. <laughs> Remember, she used to even be afraid of humans under the bed. Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Anyhow, that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me. Just that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Patient name, Rudolph Rudy Holiday. Hey, Chris. You forget my name or something? Shh, shh. It's an angel doll. Its lack of facial features is unsettling. That angel? Noelle and Des made it in youth group. It's kind of like a good luck charm to me now. Oh, right. You and Azzy tried to make one too. But you wasted the whole time making huge wings for it. You and Azzy tried to make one too. Azzy must be Azriel, right? Which would be... Our brother? Who looks very much like Ralsei? So that makes me think, like... I, it can't... Everything that we just saw couldn't have just been a fantasy, right? Just playing with a friend? Could it have? Because it feels like Ralsei is... Like a, a fantasy made-up version of Azriel, their brother. And we're... Forget our name, we're definitely Azriel's brother. I don't know if we're Chara or what, but... Yeah. I don't know why this is the first time we've ever heard the name Chris. Seems a bit odd. Uh, you wasted the whole time making huge wings for it. That's a get well soon card from your mom. It's signed inside. Hey Chris, you know you signed the inside, right? Why are you staring at it like you haven't seen it before? Is your penmanship that good? Was I not moved enough? You okay? This castle's white wizards relegated me to this healing chamber. But my blood is boiling for battle. What the hell? It's a classic 1 to 10 pain scale using ice... Ice... Ice E? As a model? Icy. At zero pain, he's happy. At ten pain, he's happy and sweating. You looked inside the cupboard. A very small obligatory piano is hiding inside. It's a regular sink. Why are there two sinks in here? It's a clone of the other sink. Perhaps there was originally one tall sink that was cut in half to create both of them. Hmm. Hmm, that's plausible. Police tape is blocking the way. The tape simply reads, "Gah." You knocked on the door to the police station. Someone's coming up to the window. They just closed the blinds. That's, that's not very good for a police station. This welcome mat looks familiar. Seems like the police aren't really feeling it right now. Yeah, wasn't this like... I feel like this is a welcome mat that we saw, or, or at least this fish was like a symbol we saw around Undyne's house, but I'm not sure. Ice me up, ice me up, boss. No thanks. God, they're horrifying. Fuck me, they're horrifying. Would you be interested in trying some of our many 24 Pezza flavors? We've got normal, cheese, ice, gravy, double ice, pepperonis, and more. Stop on down at Ice E's Pezza. What is wrong with this world? 
Oh god, someone's actually here. Uh, uh, I see Peza, your number one spot for a piping hot pe S of Peza. Uh, hey, hey, wait a second. I recognize you. Oh, hey! You, little buddy, it's me. Wanna chat for a minute before I lose my mind? Um... Tell me about Asriel. Do you know when Azzy's coming home? Okay, so absolutely confirmed Asriel is Azzy. You can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. It'd be sweet to cruise around town like old times. Uh, picking up, for example. Chicks. Which, as a matter of course, may not have ever actually happened. Look at, look at what's happening with her face. Oh my god. <laughs> but one time Undyne made eye contact with me. While she was writing me a speeding ticket. See, I'm trying to remember exactly what the plot of Undertale is in terms of like what the world is and how the people got there because these are obviously people that showed up in Undertale so I'm trying to square all that we've seen here with what we've seen in Undertale and trying to mesh the two things together I don't like the explanation that what we saw was just like a fantasy there's a dark world in the school what if like what if this is a prequel which I've actually heard. Someone in the comments for one of the first videos actually said that this is a prequel to the Undertale series. If it is a prequel, then maybe this is all the stuff that happened before, I don't know, everything got transformed into the, the Dark World or whatever. I don't know if that actually squares with the story in Undertale, though, because it's been so freaking long since I've played it. But, like, maybe all of these people ended up there. And everything, like, kind of changed around because... It's a different world and stuff is different? And that's why Chris didn't exist in the other world? I don't know. Or at least, I mean, Chris might have existed in the other world, but they weren't named Chris in the other world. Whoops. Oh. What do I have? Ball of junk. You looked at the junk ball in admiration. Nothing happened. Ball of junk. Small ball of accumulated things. I've got two bucks to my name. I have a pencil. And my armor is a bandage. Entrance is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all of the employees are outside in costume. <laughs> Wait, they're all <laughs> trying to sell me on going inside to buy pizza, but it's locked. And there's no employees. Okay, that makes sense. Whoa, hey everybody. Yeah, like this, this looks like, even this building looks very similar to the, I guess it was a pub in Undertale when you first get to Snowden. Is it Snowden? The town? I think it is. But like, even this person I think is a shop seller, and then I remember this flaming person at the bar. Yeah, it feels like this whole world got twisted and put into the dark world and that this is happening before everything in Undertale. Hey there. Haven't seen you in a while. Haven't seen you in a while, hun. I remember back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happened and then y'all stopped coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brothers still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate. And you two'd sit down at the table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? Chris got the hot chocolate. On the house, hon. Huh? Wait, so what happened? My first thought was that, at this point, Toriel and Asgore have already split up, because that's what was the case in Undertale. Used to be together, they were no longer together. But it almost sounds like Asriel is, like, dead or something, or missing. It's kind of the feeling I get. Uh, we'll take the special. Um, do you have any edible glitter? 
The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. I think I'm going to avoid talking to everyone else. Sorry if that bothers anyone, but my voice is like so busted from talking constantly for the past like two hours uh, that I've been recording. So I'm going to save my voice a little bit. Hey, 